Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney with the Quantitative Reasoning Center. Several years ago, some colleagues and I published a paper called Five Frequently Fatal Freshman Physics Fantasies. And these misconceptions are not unique to freshmen, nor are they unique to physics, and they hinder learning in all of the quantitative disciplines. The first frequently fatal fantasy that we described, we call the fantasy of the miracle finish. And this is the idea that somehow a student can slide by with a minimal effort most of the semester, push real hard or work real hard for the last week or two, ace the final exam, and come out with an acceptable result. And once you're dealing with uh, some of the more challenging quantitative subjects like calculus, like physics, like Calculus 3, this is really not possible because the performance on the graded reviews, the performance on the final exam is going to be dictated by the volume of practice over the whole semester. Another way to think about it is that your accomplishment in the course will be equal to the integral of your effort over time. So today we're having a look at section 15.1 number 14, and it asks us to consider the integral, and it's the integral over a region, and the integrand is the square root of 9 minus y squared, and dA, and it's over the region R uh, is equal to or given by the region from 0 to 4 and 0 to 2. And this might be some nomenclature with which we're unfamiliar, so we want to just talk about what it means. Well, this dA, it means over a region in the xy plane. So in Cartesian coordinates, you can either think of it as dx, dy, or dy, dx where you can reverse the order of the differentials dx and dy as long as you also reverse the order of the limits. So what does this part here mean? Well this is a region in the xy plane oops, we usually make the vertical axis y so what this means is that this is the range of x so it means that x is less than or equal to zero I'm sorry, x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 4, and it means that y goes from 0 to 2, and so this is just the, the nomenclature that's being used. So x goes to 4, y goes to 2, so what we're talking about is this area here in the xy plane is r. So we're talking about differential units of area with x from 0 to 4 and y from 0 to 2. And how would we sketch this solid in three dimensions? Well, it is possible, if you're good with perspective and whatnot, uh, to graph the solid by hand in three dimensions. However, uh, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show off uh, the tool MATLAB, both for graphing the solid in three dimensions as well as for computing the integral. Okay, so we, here we have the MATLAB window opened up and our first order of business is to graph the solid so we need to uh, define x and y as real variables and now uh, we want to use an easy surf and what the easy surf command does is it's going to graph the integrand, so we can graph the integrand, and the integrand is the square root of 9 minus y squared, and we want to select a region where x goes from 0 to 4, and y goes from 0 to 2. And MATLAB just thinking about it here. And so this is our uh, surface. So we can see that that's the integrand. And we can see that x goes from 0 to 4, y goes from 0 to 2. 
and we can uh, look at it from different perspectives. If you touch the ro rotate thing there, and I'll make sure we get that right. Maybe it's that one. I'm trying to remember how we can grab it and rotate it around here. I mean, neither one seems to be working right now. Make it a little larger. Make it full screen if we want to. Ah, uh, now it's working. So we can just look at the surface from different perspectives if there's some advantage to doing that. All right, so that's the surface that we are uh, attempting to integrate over. And now we can introduce the int command. Well, this one, uh, it's y is the variable, but as it turns out, since the limits of integration don't depend on uh, the variables, we can uh, either do the int x is the inside integral or y is the inside integral. Let's integrate over x first. So let's go make the inside integral equal to int and that's the MATLAB command for integration. And the function is the square root of 9 minus y squared. And we want to integrate over x first. And we go from x goes from 0 to 4. All right, so that's the result of the inside integral. Now we can compute the outside integral. And the outside integral is the integral of the result of the inside integral, which we called inside, and over the variable y. And y goes from 0 to 2. So now everything is said and done. Uh, the value of the integral is here, and that's got an arc sine function in it. Suppose we wanted to know what the numerical result was without the arc sine, we'd use the eval uh, command, and so that gives us a numerical approximation to four decimal places. So this is a nice example of how to use MATLAB to graph the surface on the region of interest, as well as computing the integral of interest.